I want to talk about some of the problems that historians and archaeologists encounter uh, when trying to reconstruct uh, the history of the ancient Hebrews. In the Old Testament, you have the well-known story of the Jews escaping the clutches of the Pharaoh and moving to the Promised Land. The Egyptians dominated both the Sinai Peninsula and Canaan. Therefore, the biblical account of the Jewish exodus is uh, problematic. We have to distinguish between history and faith, uh, two quite different things. The notion that there's a large guerrilla force of Jews wandering about the Sinai for 40 years in an area patrolled by the Egyptian military is not credible. If there's no exodus, of course, there's no conquest of Canaan. It's unlikely that the walled cities in Canaan, the Egyptian uh, authorities would not have allowed such a thing as it would have impeded their dominance over the area. You've all heard of the walls of Jericho, for instance. Uh, this is problematic. The biblical description of this era in the history of ancient Israel does not deal with actual events in the second millennium BC. The stories of the patriarchs are packed with camels, usually herds of camels, but as in the story of Joseph's sale by his brothers into slavery, camels are also described as beasts of burden used in caravan trade. We now know that camels were not domesticated as beasts of burden earlier than the late second millennium and were not widely used in that capacity in the ancient Near East until well after 1000 BC. Let's turn now to Daniel. The first six chapters have often been described as a heroic fiction. These chapters tell of Daniel's adventures under two Babylonian kings, Nebuchadnezzar and Belshazzar, a Median king Darius, who happens to be unknown to history, and a Persian king Cyrus, that's a whole lot of years. Um, and the historical inaccuracy of the work, right? You have the chronology of more than a century being telescoped here. There's other inaccuracies. Belshazzar was actually never a king. He was sort of a, a prince regent. He was defeated by Cyrus, not by Darius. So there, there are tremendous historical inaccuracy. And this is a sign that this was written at a much later time, looking back when the history of the period 300 years ago was very confused. 